so people always ask me regarding first generation Tundra, how does it tow? So today we are going to be towing my 24 foot uh, travel trailer and we're going to go camping and we are going to go uh, to an elevation of about 7,000 feet. It's called Lower Chiquito Campground. We'll be hitting some very steep roads up to 8 uh, and 9% grade. So I'll show you how this truck feels like, uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to show you how this truck feels like towing uh, 4,800 pounds dry. Right now we're sitting at about 5,500 pounds loaded. So here we go, starting from my home. So we are at an elevation of 301 feet above sea level. We are gonna hit uh, a mile high and then we're gonna go about a thousand feet higher than that. So I just ran it off the corner here. I'll be honest with you, towing uh, a treble trailer this weight, this heavy, you can feel every single ounce of it. So uh, if you are gonna buy something as heavy as my travel trailer, uh, 24 foot, my recommendation is that uh, you get something with an electric brake and also when you drive towing it turn off your overdrive we'll be traveling to uh, the mammoth Pooh area up in the sierras and we'll be going there on third gear okay so if you have a fourth generation tundra you are driving you, know, you have a four-speed transmission and so you have to turn off your over uh, overdrive in order to tow this thing uh, nicely or else your tranny will be hunting and will be trying to get into that overdrive mode and you don't want it to do that because if it's too heavy for your transmission you will burn your transmission trust me so I'll let you know my truck is uh, on a 35 inch tire set and my gear ratio is 410 so it's kind of tall for my tire size so my truck's gonna struggle a little bit especially when going up uh, hills but it's not the first time I've done it so let's see what happens this time and uh, one word of advice I've been towing this rig since 2003 uh, what I constantly do is constantly check and monitor my engine temperature my uh, oil pressure and that's what I, I always monitor so if you are new to this I say my two cents for you is do that too so that you are aware of your engines condition so, yeah, I'll show you as we slowly ascend to uh, Mammoth Pool. Right after this little turn right here, past the bridge, the hill is coming up. And that's a pretty steep hill. It's rated at 8%. So, uh, we're going to have fun climbing that hill. And uh, I'll be honest with you, every single time I climb this hill, it's first gear, pedal to the metal, red line. That's the only way I can get past this. It's because my truck is only a 4.7. And in addition to that, it's oversized tire. And uh, yeah. So here we go. Ain't no turning back. There you go. Ascending. I've blocked my shifter to second gear and it's dropping. I'm at 40 miles an hour and I'm dropping. That's it, that's all she wrote, folks. I'm down to 30 miles an hour. I'm gonna have to shift to 30 miles an hour. There we go. 
tiny automatic shifted. Right now, I'm at 5,000 RPM. Shift it down again. There you go, I manually shifted. I was not gonna wait for my training to shift for me. And I'm gonna shift again. stop at the gas station to let her cool down and gas up because I am a quarter of a tank down already okay so just gassed up left the Valero gas station and then um, just heading to uh, the uh, what you call it North O'Neill's North Fork I'm in so one thing that I like to do is well, what I don't like to do is uh, use my brake. So I like to downshift to save my brake for uh, emergency purposes. So um, that's how I've always driven. That's how I always, uh, that's my driving style. Too much brake is not good for your truck, especially when you're towing something heavy like this. So I like to uh, 
use my engine to brake, my transmission to brake, that by uh, downshifting. If you drive a uh, stick shift, then you know what downshifting is. And here is North Fork. So we're at about 2,600 uh, feet above the uh, elevation, above sea level. There's a, there's a slope here and then there's a very steep incline over there. So I'm gonna use this to my advantage and I'm gonna speed up just to make it over that hill. Okay guys, so this point marks the spot where it starts to go up and it gets pretty steep going up and it's just a twisted trail of uh, a road and it's going to be like this all the way up until uh, we uh, get up to the little ridge and then it won't be this bad. Uh, the camera doesn't capture it but to the right is just a hillside down like what you see up that little hillside right there that's how steep it is and that's how steep it is on my right side if you make a mistake ain't no turning back road keep going until it ends then it intersects uh, the main road going down to a bass lake so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um, there's not much to it if if you let the engine work and the truck work it'll tow the 24 foot trailer that I have um, but it will not tow it like a diesel um, it's a small engine 4.7 liter and so uh, it just takes its time you just have to live with the uh, with its power if you choose to tow with it and uh, that's that guys let me know what your thoughts are I'm almost to camp 
I am 3.5 miles away and this is the Bayshore Road if you know this area you know that this is a single lane road it's a two-way single lane road so I have my families um, go on ahead of me uh, to let other cars know that I'm coming yep that's it <laughs>